it look like it'll go. Try it again. There's a little bit. Yeah, try it again. Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is May 31st. It is Tuesday. I hope everybody had a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. I know we did. Uh, we even caught a uh, Atlanta Braves game, which was pretty cool to take a little tea to that. But uh, we are back at work, and uh, we're going to get started uh, cutting some wheat today, guys. So I um, got the drone with me. Going to be a busy week with a lot going on, so y'all just sit back, enjoy the video, and uh, let's get this thing started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to fill up with diesel, but uh, Dad said that these belts were smoking. He filled his tractor up. It's right there behind me. Um, so hopefully I can fill up. I don't know. He said the bells are about to burn up, so we'll see what happens. Fill it up with diesel, fill it up with death. Then we got to get everything moved to, uh, we're going to start up there at Tyler, Tyler Graveyard. Got to get the combine up there, the header, and then I got to cut and make some room, and uh, then we'll start getting 18 wheelers up there. Dad, I don't know. He's hooked to the planter. Probably going to be planting soybeans, um, but unfortunately, I think he went and checked on Panther Creek, and I think we're going to have to do some replanting on the cotton. It just got way too much rain on that last episode, and I think a lot of the water backed up and uh, from the swamps, and I uh, got over the cotton. So he's going to have a busy week. He's going to be running around, probably trying to do both. Probably replanting cotton and uh keep planting soybeans because everything i cut behind the wheat we're gonna plant soybeans so um we've got a lot to do it's gonna be a busy let's fill this baby up and um see if we can get up to tyler This right here is not a diesel tank, even though it was originally at one time. This is what we fight fire with. This is nothing but a diesel tank converted into a water tank. Uh, so basically, basically, it's got water in there. We got a long hose on it, and uh, we put air pressure on it to get the water to pump out. And uh, in case we do have a fire, that thing is coming to the combine as fast as it can, and we're going to fight the fire with that and uh, the jugs on the combine and fire extinguishers and everything else we got so that thing always follows the combine sure you're probably wondering what in the world are we doing with those uh cotton module tarps but uh we needed the netting part off of it um those are just old tarpaulins we've had for years and years and years we don't even use them anymore normally we have a big roll of this net um mesh that we use down here at the seed house but anyway this year we are out so that's why we were uh basically cutting those up and you we're going to use the uh the netting off of the tarp you'll see what i'm talking about in just a second but whoo 
Hello, humidity. Humidity is back in Alabama. My gosh, it is extremely hot right now. But uh, I'm going to hook up to the header trailer. I'll show y'all what we're doing with the netting. And uh, then we're going to start moving everything up to Tyler. That's cheating. Explain what you're doing. Put netting over the holes so we, when we cut the air, sucking the air through there, it doesn't, doesn't pull the wheat through. It's screening the wheat. So the reason we need air on the wheat is because wheat has to be 13.5, 13% moisture to be sold. And so when we cut it and bring it in the warehouse, we want to keep it that moisture. So that's why we're always pulling air off of it. Um, just trying to keep that wheat from spoiling and keeping it that exact moisture that we cut it with. So when we load it out to uh, be sold, it'll be ready to go at 13%. Now you know. All right, we want our header on rigid, which it is. This little lever right there. Basically, it makes it where it doesn't flex. We want it straight for wheat. Got all this hooked up. We want to make sure all your doors are closed up. She's closed. Closed. Got that one closed. Make sure those two are on. All right, they're closed. We're all good. Oh, one more. Forgot about that one. That would not have been good. Before I engage my knives in here, we did not clean out the dirt. So we are not ready. I got to crawl in there and clean all this chaff out. Going all the way down? Uh-uh. Not? Going about middle, middle way? Wait, wait, wait. Oh. It looks like it'll go. Try it again. Wait, there's a little bit. Fun, fun, fun. But um, basically that needed to be done because I wanted my knives in. Uh, so it's going to shred everything that goes through the combine. Anyway, it'll chop it up to really, really fine little particles. So uh, when the planter comes through here, it doesn't choke up. So forgot about doing that, but uh, we got them cleaned out and got the knives set. So uh, now all I got to do is crank up the combine and uh, change all my settings right here in the, uh, on the display. And uh, then I think we're ready to go. Did I say it was hot? Yeah. It's hot. Oh, I got problems. 
I went that far and then the cutter cutter bar just stopped and uh, I'm not sure what's going on I got out there on the ends open up the fenders and you can turn that belt out there by hand it turns just as free it moves this this blade then I did the same thing out there uh, um, took the cover off turned that belt I don't know what's going on blade turns real free turning the belt I am low on hydraulic fluid though so that's what I'm doing now I had to go get the service trailer and uh, we're filling up that tank right there because I don't know if y'all remember I had to replace that hose down there where it was dripping so I'm hoping it just didn't have enough fluid to make everything turn I don't know There she goes. Well, it's working. We cut around the graveyard a little bit. Uh, got some grain in my tank. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna check the uh, moisture of the wheat. Uh, that's the first thing you gotta do is calibrate. I gotta calibrate the combine. Uh, get the moisture what it thinks the moisture is dialed in with this and uh, the second thing I got to do is um, Probably won't be able to get to this today, but uh, I want to calibrate my yield monitor But unfortunately the scales on the grain cart are not working We got the scale guy. He's coming out today. I don't know what time he's gonna get here And I don't know if he's gonna get it fixed, but um Anyway, not really gonna know the yield unless I'd send a truck and get it weighed, but Anyway, first things first is uh, let's get the moisture, get it right, make sure we're under 13, and uh, get some wheat cut. Don't worry about the yield calibration uh, once we get the scales fixed. 15.7. Wow, that one was 16. We were trying not to dry this wheat. So uh, I was hoping it was a lot lower than that, but I don't know. We'll go out there and try it in another spot and uh, check it again. It's 12 o'clock right now, so thought it was going to be a little drier, but we're going to stop. Uh, I got a few things I got to do to my combine that's still not working right. The GPS, for some reason, is not pulling up my guidance. So I'm going to eat lunch and uh, get on the phone, see if I can work out some of these little kinks and uh then we'll probably try it again right after lunch so uh, maybe it'll be a little bit drier but plenty of sun hardly any clouds uh perfect perfect day for combining wheat we just got to get it a little bit lower than that closer if it was somewhere closer to 14 we'd probably be running so uh let's get lunch and uh get on the phone and uh then we'll regroup Time to roll now, boys. Uh, that's perfect. That's perfect combine and moisture. Let's get after it. All right, guys, let's go out there and uh, kind of walk behind the combine and see how it's doing. There's one. There's one right there. Pretty clean. So out of this whole area right here, you got one, two, three, 
four, five. I'd say that's pretty good. I can dial it in a little bit better if I want, if it was leaving too much seed out here. This combine is set up with the automatic mode. Anyway, it adjusts your sieves, your fan, ground speed, everything. Um, it kind of adjusts itself and you can put parameters on how much seed you want to, how much basically loss you want to accept. But um, I kind of play with it a little bit, um, but that right there is fine. Um, that's, that's very little seed when you have five and almost a square foot. So, I think it's doing good. Got my drone. Perfect time to get it up in the air. I know we hadn't had any drone footage in a long time, so I'll uh, get that baby up in the air. Guys, that's going to be it for the video. We're out of time. Hope y'all enjoyed it. It was uh, felt good to finally get out here and uh, actually cut some wheat. First day of wheat harvest is uh, always the hardest. Everything goes wrong, but uh, hopefully we got all those out of the way. Combine's running good. So uh, we're going to have plenty of videos coming out this week of uh, wheat harvest, so y'all keep watching. But uh, as for this one, guys, we are out of here. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. If you haven't subscribed, click the Triple R Farms logo, and uh, we will catch you all on the next one. See you guys. We're out.